Hello guys, welcome back to another session on RP Automation Anywhere A360 Advanced Concepts. So previous session, we have covered uh, what is web services and the REST web service method. So in this lesson, we are going to learn uh, remaining other methods on REST web services like uh, get, put, post, patch, and all. So uh, let's get started. So let me uh, go to Automation Anywhere A360. Now we are in Automation Anywhere A360 um, control room and we have already covered REST web services get method. Now we are going to cover uh, post method. Uh, so please uh, subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon. That's why you'll be notified every time when I upload new series or videos or uh, advanced concepts on Automation Anywhere A360. So in the previous session, we have already covered a get method by using RES web method. So in this lesson, we are going to learn post method. So here we have, yes, get post method. So post, post method, we will create a new request. So let me click on post and then let me go to URI. So let me copy this URI first, uh, I mean link. Let me copy this link. And let me paste it over here. We will see. So here we can see list of users and their properties of the particular thing and IDs. So what we are trying to do, we, are, we will try to create a, a new request. So let me copy this body and let's go to automation in area to see. So first of all, we need to pass the URI. So let me copy the URI first. Paste the URI or here. Already we have discussed. So if you want to pass the URI by using the credential or variable, yes, we can select the uh, select the credential as URI, and then you can pass the or pick the credential from the credential wallet, uh, or else you can use the variable assignment operation to pass the uh, URI dynamically. Here we have hard coded, but this is not recommendable. Any any time any value you have to pass it whether of from credential wallet or it from uh, variable only. So since I am working on our website, so here uh, there is no authentication. So here authentication is not required. But in real time processes, you are if you are working on real time data or thing, you need to provide authentication method either basic or AD user or authentication. So the, these details you will get it from your client or business. So you don't need to worry about all those things. Okay, so here if you want to add any header, you can add the header. So here if you see the output format of this, uh, API web services is JSON format. So if it either it could be, sorry, either it could be in JSON format or XML format. So we need to select the uh, preferred output format to create a content, either JSON, XML, text, XML, you know, basic one, all these things. So since this is JSON web services, right? Let me choose the JSON here to pass the body. So let me provide, sorry. Let me copy the body content here. This one, copy and let me put it over here. So here what I'll do, I'll change the name. I'll change the name, let's say, Douglas. And Rajni Kanth. Uh, so here I have provided name as Prabhas and job as Rajni Kanth. So for just for sake uh, dummy values, I have provided to check the oh, post method functionality. And here, if you want to capture the reason, error reason, yes, you can capture. And here you can out assign the output to multiple variables as body or uh, header key and value, or else you can directly use the a dictionary variable. So let me create a dictionary variable v out put value v output value. Let me click on create and edit. So we have already covered the dictionary concepts in the earlier video. So if you want to fetch the body, then you can just use the body keyword to fetch the value of the body. Or else if you want to fetch the header details, you can just pass response header name 
keyword to fetch the uh, header from the dictionary variable. So let me type message box to display the, uh, sorry, message box to display the uh, post method created new request. So let me type personal F2 and let me go to uh, the output value and the key I am going to pass body. Let me click on insert and let me save and run the process. So whatever the request we have provided Prabhas and Rajnikanth, it is supposed to create. Let's see. So what is running now? We are able to understand what is web services, what is REST web services, and what are all the methods available, and how we can perform the methods, and how we can pass the body, and all the stuff. If you have any queries and concerns, please drop a message in the comment section. I'll try to help you out, or I'll, I can share the required information, and I'll try to make another video on your queries. Okay, so please don't forget to click on bell icon. That's why you'll be notified every time when I upload a new video or series on the Automation Anywhere A360 tutorials. Here you can see the name is Prabhas and job is Rajnikanth, and ID is also created as 361, and uh, the created something like that. So this is how we are going to. Uh, uh, update the request, create a new request. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.